Let us learn how to sync audio with custom animation in PowerPoint. First, I'll show you the usual but inefficient way of doing it. Then I'll show you the more efficient way of performing the task. So let us jump right in. Before that, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. First, let me show you the usual way. Whenever you want to sync audio with animation, first you record your voice. In this case, I already have a recorded voice. I'm going to play it for you. It is a very simple task that I'm trying to explain in PowerPoint. Listen to the audio. To fill a shape in PowerPoint with red color, first you need to select the shape. Then go to the Home tab and click on the drop down menu for Shape Fill. And then choose the color that you want to fill the shape with. So that is the audio. Now the usual way to do this is First, you insert the audio by going to Insert, Audio, Audio on my PC or wherever you had stored it and then select the audio and insert it. Now you have the icon of the audio. You keep it to one side which is away from the slide area and then you say it needs to play in click sequence. Then you also plan your animation. This is the first one you need to animate, then the second one, the third one and then the final one. Then go to animations and decide the animation that you want to apply. I'm going to choose fade. It is a very simple animation here. So we have these animations available in our animation pane. Now I need to plan when these animations would play. For that, I need to listen to the audio. And then in a notebook, I need to note down the exact second where the animation needs to play. For example, let me note this. Let us play the audio again. To fill a shape in PowerPoint with red color, First, you need to select the shape. It says first you need to select the shape and that is the point when this animation which is the fade animation for this particular shape needs to appear. So I need to have this happen approximately around 6 seconds. So I say this happens with previous but then with a delay of 6 seconds. So when I go to slideshow and click to fill a shape in PowerPoint with red color, first you need to select the shape. Then go to the Home tab. See, so that is how the animation comes in. Naturally, there are a few issues with it. The first one is the number of iterations involved. It is not always easy to adjust the delay settings with the specific point in the audio and match the animation. And even if you do, there is a very big limitation, which is there is only so much you can play in terms of the delay timings. The upside limit of delay is 59 seconds. You cannot have delay more than 59 seconds, which means if you want to plan a complex explanation, then you need to use multiple slides and then play with multiple delay settings and it can be a nightmare. Now let me show you a more efficient way, which is to play with the bookmarks. Now let me play the audio. To fill a shape in PowerPoint with red color, first you need to select the shape. So around 5.31 or 5.25 seconds, I need to have the first animation happen. Then I go to playback and say add bookmark. So you see that is the first bookmark. And then I continue to play. Then go to the home tab. At this point, I need to add another bookmark and click on the drop down menu for. At this point, the third animation, which is about clicking on the drop down menu, happens. Shape fill. And then choose the color. At this point, I add the final bookmark. So I have four of these bookmarks in this audio. Now I can sync my animations with these bookmarks. So I go to the first animation event which is about selecting the shape. Go to the animations tab. Go to trigger and say on bookmark of bookmark 1. Then the second animation which is about home tab needs to be triggered on bookmark of 2. And then the third one on bookmark of 3. And then the fourth one on bookmark, bookmark 4. Now all you need to do is Select each of these triggers and then say with previous. Even though you don't really see any change here, when you choose with previous, it automatically follows the trigger time. Let us see how this works. Let me go to slideshow and start the audio by clicking. To fill a shape in PowerPoint with red color, first you need to select the shape. Then go to the Home tab and click on the drop down menu for Shape Fill. And then choose the color that you want to fill the shape with. Did you see how beautifully the animation happened exactly as I was explaining the points? 
The best part is this is much easier to do because all you are doing is to listen to the audio once and you pause at the point where you need to trigger the animation and then add a bookmark and then hit the space bar continue to play and the next time when you need the animation you pause by hitting the space bar and then add a bookmark so it is a very simple process and the best part is you don't really have any time limit that is imposed by the delay settings because now you are triggering everything based on the bookmarks that you have marked on the audio now if at any point i want to change the animation i can do so for example i can go to this specific animation instead of the fade if i want to have it say fly in from right let us see how that goes to fill a shape in powerpoint with red color first you need to select the shape then go to the can you see at that point the fly in happened and it is not the fade that happened so it gives you a lot of creative freedom when you do the animation as well so the next time you want to sync your audio with animation instead of using the usual delay settings try using the trigger with bookmark option and you will find the process much easier even if you are a beginner and you are not comfortable using screen recording programs then this method makes it much easier for you to create explainer videos right inside powerpoint and if you want to learn how to use powerpoint like a pro then i highly recommend this program called as ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program this is arguably the most comprehensive and creative powerpoint training program available online i will leave a link to this program in the description box below this video click on it come to this page watch this video and see how this program can change the way you create your powerpoint presentations and if you liked this tutorial then you will really love this other tutorial that i have put together called all about powerpoint slide master basic to advanced even if you are familiar with slide master this video will give you pointers that you may not have heard of before so click on the link right now on your screen and watch that video next